Shalom. Giving all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahakwarash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I just wanted to briefly tap into this article. All right, as you uh, brothers and sisters um, may know or may not know, pretty much the Senate, as you can see the title here, the Senate passes bill, all right, to make daylight savings, all right, time permanent, all right, meaning, you know, you're no longer going to have to set your clock back an hour, all right, um, we just recently set it up, all right, and, you know, what we know of it is that we lose an hour of sleep, all right, but the days are longer, all right, it's lighter outside, um, and uh, for, for longer periods of time, you know, and um, from what I know, that was done for the purpose of farming, you know, but uh, here recently they just, you know, passed this particular bill to make it permanent, okay, and uh, we're not going to read too much into it, but what I have noticed, you know, um, since the clock has went up, is that these days are going by even faster. Now, we already saw and felt how fast time was moving even before uh, this particular daylight savings bill was passed. All right. And, and furthermore, what is the what is the Edomite doing? They're all over the place. All right. They're, they're, they're here. They're there. They're, they're, they're pretty much unstable. All right. They're, you know, they, they can't sit down, you know. Clearly, they have agendas up their sleeve, okay? But what I have noticed since, you know, the hour has went up is, like, you look up, man, the day is flying by. So this all pretty much is leaning towards us hastening the day, okay? And, it, and, it, and it, we can also go to, um, when you go to ancient Babylon, you know, it was a point where they shortened the second they set the time back, they did something with the time, which is ultimately the same thing happening here. That which is then is now. OK, but um, I just want to get a few scriptures. Because this all works in our favor at the end of the day. And this is the heavenly father working on the minds of the elites and the powers that be to do these things. All right. And it's all going to work. All right. In our favor, everything that's happening worldwide. All right. It's for the benefit of the elect being delivered ultimately to, you know, for the name of Yahweh through Yahweh Shah to be glorified and magnified in the earth. All right. Which leads to, you know, our deliverance. So uh, I'll start here in the book of uh, Mark, the 13th chapter. OK, I'll start at the uh, 19th verse. OK, it says, for in those days shall be affliction such as was not from the beginning of creation, which God created until this time, neither shall be. All right. And, you know, looking at history, looking at biblical stories, you know, biblical history, there was some pretty harsh times. All right. Well, the times that are coming. All right. As we know, and we constantly try to, you know, prepare, you know, our people's minds by warning you. Okay. And um, you still have particular Israelites of the mindset, all right, that there is no Jacob's trouble, that pretty much we're getting ready to have a uh, easy, you know, um, escape out of Babylon the Great. And it's just not going to be that way. All right. It's going to be, um, hey, as the scriptures say, they that endure unto the end shall be saved. So these are the days which are coming. Why? Because the powers that be. All right, the biblical Edomites, they're not going to go down without a fight. We already know how crazy they are. So just imagine, all right, when the Lord hardens their heart, all right, they're going to pass all kind of laws to justify, you know, the bringing, bringing the squeeze, bringing the pain, man. Okay? I was just looking at a uh, card a brother sent, you know, how these left-hand demons have these... Uh, so-called Illuminati card games and literally pretty much, you know, when you look and read what they're saying, I mean, everything that's happening, <laughs> all right, because they do have their left-hand prophets, witches and warlocks, okay? 
because they, they, they think they're the most high, but really it's the most high putting the spirit on them to do these things. All right. But it all works in our favor because when they make that move and when things get too bad, you know, there, there's a protection. All right. Witness protection from on high that's coming for us, man. All right. And we're we're entering into those times. So in order for the great miracle to be worked, for us to be delivered, we got to go through that straight gate, all right? These trying, afflicting times, man. And we're already entering into them, all right? It says, and except that the Lord have shortened those days, no flesh should be saved, all right? I mean, I was just looking yesterday, all right, in the sky, and chemtrails were everywhere, Okay, I mean, pretty much everything's toxic, everything's poison, all right? They're releasing all kind of, you know, wickedness into the air and the food, okay? So if the Lord didn't stop this man, no flesh would be saved, all right? So that's the reason that pretty much you're starting to see things speed up, okay? Because the Lord is putting the spirit on this man. To come down with great wrath so that he can be stopped. And that's just how the movie goes. So except Yahweh, the Lord, have shortened those days, no flesh should be saved. But for the elect's sake, whom he have chosen, he have shortened the days. Okay? Let's read that in the NLT. In fact, unless the Lord shortens that time of calamity, which is coming. Okay? That's why, the, that's why things are speeding up. Okay? It says, you know, when you have to set the clock up, you do get happier for longer days, but there's always that thought, damn, I lose an hour of sleep. Well, ultimately, that works out in our favor anyway, man. <laughs> get your ass up, all right? And may your howl by Shemir Al-Shah destroy this place. It says, in fact, unless the Lord shortens that time of calamity, not a single person will survive, but for the sake of his chosen ones, he has shortened the days, all right? And when you read it in the uh, King James, it says, but for the elect's sake. Now, who's the elect? <laughs> Let's get the book of Isaiah 45 real quick in the fourth verse. All right, it says, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. And the Lord ain't changed, all right? I have even called thee by name. I have surnamed thee. Though that has not known me, now we know him in these times. So we take the things that are happening around us more serious. These things ain't happening for no reason. We have to be in tune with our power. All right. Just like a wife is to be in tune with her husband. A woman should, you know, see her, her husband's mood and know how to react based on the mood he's in. All right. So we, as the wife of the Most High through Yahweh Shai, OK, we got to understand what energy, you know, the the the, uh, the the most high is in. And make sure that that we're in line. All right, because we don't want to be a stink in his nose and we don't want to offer up the wrong sacrifice. All right. And we're making our bodies a living sacrifice. All right. But you want to make sure that sacrifice is accepted. OK, that's why the scriptures say hasten the day. OK. Hastening the day. That's why Apostle Tahar termed this year, all right, the year of the hastening of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right, so the things that are happening are all centered around us hastening this thing being shortened. All right, the Lord said He's going to make a quick work. I believe that's somewhere, or short work, or a quick work. All right, could be. I was worded, but, um, yep, Romans 9 and 28, for he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness. See, the reason the Lord is speeding everything up and is, he got this devil in this weird, you know, uh, you know, demonic spirit. All right. Now your boy, false, you know, falsify has popped back up, you know, now the narrative with the uh, Crown Royale 2019 is popping back up now. You know, lockdowns are happening. You know, China, Australia's back on their 
you know, just two weeks ago, they said, well, you know, we're going to do away with the uh, face coverings. Now, um, when you look into the news now, they're, they're saying they're getting ready to reinstate, you know, the uh, face coverings. That's going to happen here in America. Things have kind of let up and then they push this whole agenda of Ukraine on you. Right now, they're back on that agenda. So what they're doing is they're systematically ground ground and pound you know the ground and pounding the mind of you americans of you people you know worldwide all right and after these next shutdowns people are going to lose their minds and they're going to use that as an opportunity to to further divide the people and say that the people who are speaking particular uh, things the people who have particular mindsets towards the government um you know towards the nwo towards the things that they're trying to do are holding up, you know, uh, progress. And that's when they're going to pass laws and legislation to get to actually attack, to actually detain. All right. A particular kind of people. All right. And as the Lord, as those things happen on the planet Earth. All right. The Lord is, is eventually going to send, you know, angelic protection. All right. Miracles are going to start happening. As we're out on the highways, uh, the healings are coming. Things are getting ready to start happening real, real fast. And life, as we know it, is going to change. Okay, the, the elite, the left hand, the sword, all right, of the Most High is getting ready to start doing things. And he's already been doing things. All right. And it's obvious like right now, you have what you call a nationwide storm supposedly coming. Okay, you have this whole thing of an energy crisis. Oh, over there, uh, I forget where. And you know, I'll do a news and prophecy. I forget where. Maybe Australia. They're talking about a uh, maybe a uh, climate lockdowns. All right, meaning, you know, you know, curfew based up on the fact that there's a, a shortage of energy. Somewhere, or I forget where I just saw that, you know, so things are getting ready to get crazy and we've been warning you all of these things, man. All right. But those of you that chose to eat, drink and be merry and, and play all of these games, these things, when they really hit. All right. It's, 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 it's going to mess you up. You're not going to be rooted. Because in that time, you're going to be wanting to, to have a, a serious commune with the most high through his son. But no, you, the, the Lord ain't going to sup with you in that day. All right, because you didn't think it was important before it hit when the prophets were telling you these things. So he says he will finish the work and cut it short. So that's why the Lord put the spirit on these devils to do that, you know, uh, uh, daylight savings bill. Because the Lord is getting ready to cut this thing short in righteousness because a short work will the Lord make upon the earth. And this is what's getting ready to happen. OK. And that's where the remnant gets delivered. Let's read that in the NLT for the Lord will carry out his sentence upon the earth quickly and with finality. Now, when you read this chapter. OK, when you read up in this chapter it's speaking about. How the Lord created Esau to be a vassal fit for destruction. All right. <laughs> Verse 22, what if God willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endured with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. So Esau is that vessel. All right. That ruler who that that modern day Pharaoh who's going to be taken down. All right. And ultimately, when you read prophecy, that's the only nation who's going to be destroyed utterly. OK, he's destined for destruction. That's why they got, you know, the likes of Vocab Malone and all this, because they're through. They're finished. And you could even see it in Esau's neck, his face, his countenance, that they know that they're through. All right? <laughs> and that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory, which that's the elect. Okay? Even us whom he have called, not of the Jews only, but the Gentiles. OK, and the Gentiles are the Israelites who were scattered among the heathen. Who had learned the works of the heathen, but came back to the Lord. 
and you brothers and sisters who are watching this video right now who are in the right spirit, you are a very example of that. We weren't raised, uh, you know, we were, uh, you know, we were uh, uh, uncultivated pretty much. We were wild olive tree, but we've been grafted in, but we're still olives. We're Israelites. All right. But there was a falling away. All right. Even as it says in the book of Hosea, I will call them my people, which were not my people. And heard my beloved, which was not my beloved. Speaking of the Israelites, as 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 the book of Peter says, real quick. And that's why everything's speeding up because the Israelites have found out who they were. This is the book of First Peter two and ten, which in time past were not a people, but now are the people of the Most High. When you're not a people, the Lord's name ain't on you. You're a heathen. So we were likened unto heathen. So we were not a people, we were Gentiles, but now are the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy through grace. Okay, he redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse from us. Okay, so the, 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 the technicalities of that first covenant, all right, though the law is still intact, our way back to the father is now through faith. Now, with faith, that doesn't mean you make void the law, okay? But now we're the people of the Most High through faith, see? And it's not of the Jews only. At that time, you had those who were raised in the customs, but also the Gentiles who believed on the preaching of the word, okay? And the book of Hosea clearly shows you that it's talking about Israelites when you read it in the first chapter. Read Hosea 1 and 10. I'm not going to go there. Okay, and it shall come to pass that it's in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. Okay, America, this is the place primarily where, where we were painted as absolute monsters uh, with the pseudoscience, you know, labeled three fifths of a human being. Okay, you know, pretty much uh, put into a category of a thug, a whore, a troublemaker, a demon, a beast. And Esau was able to create and make us in his image. See, that's the importance of coming out of these ways, fleeing Babylon in a spiritual sense. Okay? So now that that's happened, things are speeding up. Okay? For I for it says, they ye in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, because we were punished. His, our na his name wasn't on us. We didn't have any answers. All right. But through the Holy Spirit, now we do. It says, ye are not my people. There shall they be called the children of the living power. The sons of God. All right. It says. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. See that a remnant is going to be saved out of what Israel. OK. And that shows you that those Gentiles are Israelites. Okay, you can't jump from being a Moabite to an Israelite. No, that ain't how it works. Okay, and, and, and you brothers and sisters that are watching these videos, you have to understand you're literally physical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, through blood. All right, but what's more important than that is the spirit. See, that has, has that has awakened in these latter days and provoked you to repentance. As I just looked at a video done by Apostle Tahar, what does it say? Bring forth works meet for repentance. That's how you hasten the day. Through changing your mind, man, and putting off this world because this world is getting ready to be no no more. And if you have your 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 spirit invested into this world when it starts to crumble, okay? Esau is going to be able to manipulate you and use particular tactics and skit to, to get you to bow the knee to the image of Baal, man. And if you do that, you weren't of the elect in the first place. Okay? So things are going to speed up. Okay? So the, the, all of the things you've been hearing or the things you read, you got to start applying those things. Fasting. Okay? All of those things need to be applied, you know, and it's between you and your how about you, shy. But at the end of the day... He's going to put the spirit on those who are of the elect anyway. So pray too a lot. 
that you are of the elect. Start throwing up those, those, those prayers even more. Okay? I pray that I'm of the elect. The scriptures say, put therefore on the elect. Okay? So that remnant is going to be saved. It says, for he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness because he will, uh, because a short work will, uh, will the Lord make upon the earth. Okay. So the remnant is getting ready to be delivered, man. Okay. And what did the Lord say? Mark 13 and 20. And except the Lord have shortened those days, no flesh should be saved before the elect's sake whom he have chosen. The Lord have shortened the days. There you go. <laughs> and there's going to be a lot of false prophets popping up. You read down verse 21. And then if any say unto you, here is Hamashiach, or lo, he is there, believe him not. You got weirdos popping up on the comment board. All right, just, just I'm, I'm King David reincarnated. I'm such and such reincarnated. I'm him, him reincarnated. You got people saying that they're the Messiah. This nigga's on Instagram right now saying that they're the Messiah and YouTube and people following him. See that? For false anointed ones and false prophets shall arise. And just because it says false Christ, that don't mean that they're saying, a lot of them don't even say that they're actually the Messiah, but they, they're, they're saying they're anointed. And a lot of them are set up on the left-hand side. There's a lot of agents getting ready to pop up. It's a lot of confusion that's getting ready to be thrown at your mind. And you have to be st stable. Wisdom and knowledge has been is going to be the stability of these times as things speed up. Okay? And shall show signs and wonders to seduce, even if it were possible, even the elect. So that hey, meaning they're gonna come with some stuff. So we hasten the day. So <laughs> lock here. See, it was a scripture I'm looking for. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, get the book of Daniel. And we'll end it off. Daniel 7. That's the book of Daniel, the seventh chapter. Speaking of Esau. And he shall speak great words against the Most High. And all of this science you're hearing about, it's it, it, really what it's fulfilled in is him speaking great words against the Most High and how he's going to, in, in the future, upgrade his creation through technology. All of this stuff is speaking great words against the Most High and our people are, are, are seduced by it. Here it is. You got Jake. OK, that 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 now they're mad at Putin. Here it is. Your own government has treated you like shit. And destroyed you, okay, and, and 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 mocked the most high, but they're able to put propaganda on the news for now. You you mad at Putin, not Biden, painting Putin out as this next Hitler character, but look at your own government and your president and vice president. The whole system, period. Anyway, but he shall speak great words against the most high. The NWO is great words against the most high. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And aren't you worn out? Aren't you tired of, of working? Even if you have a business, it's work. That's why the scriptures say in the kingdom, the, the sons of the strangers is going to be our vine dressers. And we're going to address that too. We're going to do a lesson on that. Because y'all got some explaining to do. All right? Aren't you tired of answering the people? Being on the schedule in the kingdom of heaven ain't going to be no 15 minutes late. Time, the, the way that this devil has, he's been able to use time as a weapon while we're running this rat race. They're not operating on 15 minutes late. No, no, they, they, they have time and resources to, to, to make your life a hell. Figure out what to put in the air, the food, the water, studying your uh, DNA and melanin. To figure out what, what, you know, how to, how to destroy you. 
studying your mind, figuring out how to figure the ways to trap you into what's what's to come, studying your social media posts, categorizing everybody. So the, he's wore out the saints of the most high. Everything in the society harasses you. That's what that word wear out means. Okay. He shall wear out the saints. That word wear out is bala. To wear away, to harass constantly. So you're being harassed even with the uh, advertisement, advertisements, the things that are being pushed onto your children. Everything, what? It, it puts you in a state of stress, fear, worry. So we need the Holy Spirit, man. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. We're wore out as there's just the, the, the history of what happened to us here. Okay, we're wore the hell out, but the spirit in the spirit, we're rejuvenated. We're hastening. Our inward man is crying for uh, Abba Fog, you know, come end it, please. Like zero, help me, please. <laughs> to wear out, to become old, <laughs> to wear out, to use up until you use me up. We used it. Jake has been used in the boot views, man. Esau has enjoyed and had Jake in, in a position that he, where he can benefit off of him until the remnant has now raised up. So with the remnant raising up, it's like, oh, shit. They're talking about David. They're talking about Yahweh. They're talking about, first off, they're talking about Yahweh. They're talking about Yahweh Shai. They're talking about the throne of David. So that's moving him, provoking him to, 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 to try to hurry up and establish what he got going on, man. Anyway, finish it off. All right. Daniel 7. All right. And uh, 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall wear out the saints of the Most High and to think to change times, think to change times and laws. And I have a video where they did that in Sumeria. Okay, they did that in ancient Babylon. Well, this is the modern day Babylon. Okay, as a matter of fact, let me see if I can just, so you can know exactly what I'm uh, talking about. I'm just going to, see, I know it's right here. Let me see here. All right. Hmm. Maybe I, let me see here. They're redeeming the time because the days are evil. Uh, yep, the days are being shortened for sure. So what I'll do here, that's the name of the video. The days are being sh shortened for sure. But I want to read the title of the video so I don't butcher. Okay. Uh, anyway, it says atomic clock scientists are proposing shortening a minute to 59 seconds. The earth is going faster in the last 50 years. But yeah, it goes back to uh, Babylon. Egyptians. Anyway, I don't want to make it too much longer but they did it in ancient babylon as well thinking that that's where you get the 60 uh second minute that started in uh sumeria showing you we're, we're in babylon the great all right we didn't track time as it's being tracked here in our ancient ways anyway it says and think to change times and laws and they shall be given unto his hand until a time and times and the dividing of times until this point where we've waken up. But the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end. And the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom, okay, under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and dominions shall serve and obey him there you go 
All right. It says, uh, and let me read it. It says, uh, Hippocrates and other Greek astronomers employed astronomical techniques that were previously deployed by the Babylonians who resided in Mesopotamia. The Babylonians made astronomical calculations in the set sexagismal system they inherited from the Sumerians who developed it around 2000 BC, although it is known unknown why 60 was chosen for the second. It is notably convenient for expressing fractions since 60 is the smallest number divided, yada, yada, yada. So that all goes back to Babylon, you know, the way time is tracked. But here, you know, they got that same spirit and they're thinking to change times and laws and, you know, pretty much, you know, create a system to where they can block out the most high, man, and, and, and change the outcome of what he's already written, man. So hopefully I'll edify Shalom.